Hey folks, we have some more new footage of Tears of the Kingdom today featuring some battle stuff, right? We have, well, Link finally fighting some enemies to take a look at. That's pretty cool, including an enemy we have not seen him fight yet, a brand new enemy in Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm really excited about this stuff, but before we get into it, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch Special Edition OLED. We're also giving away a Collector's Edition of Tears of the Kingdom and a pin from PAX East. Pretty exciting stuff. We're now on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so uh, let's go. We're about 27,000 away from that. Let's, let's see what we can do here before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. All right, so let's just talk about where this footage came from first. Uh, Nintendo of Japan is the one who released it, and they have like a little children's show they put together in Japan, and they release it on their YouTube channel, and it has a bunch of clips of a whole bunch of different games, including Tears of the Kingdom. So we stitched together all of those clips for you guys to see in a moment. First of all, let's recap some of the new footage we've had already, so you guys can take a look at some stuff you might have missed. You know, we had 11 seconds of stuff that came off the official Japanese website, and then uh, we also had some new stuff yesterday as well, showing a little bit of new here, about a, a 30 second commercial. And then we finally can advance into this brand new stuff. Now it's pretty quick, it's about nine seconds and it goes super fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the nine seconds and then we're gonna slow down those nine seconds so you can get a better look at what's happening and the moves that they are pulling off. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Now in the first one, uh, we see him just chopping a tree. You know, not, not a big deal. That's something we could do in Breath of the Wild, but he does it in one giant swing with a wood bat. I find that to be rather fascinating how powerful Link is there. Then we see him stab a construct. Uh, he does that with his little pokey poke. And then we see him fight one of those new King Bokoblin things. Moblins? Oh, Bokoblin, right? King Bokoblin. I don't know. Whatever. And we see him with this giant, juicy, weird-looking purple tongue. It's crazy. And he's hitting him with some sort of two-handed weapon on a bridge, or actually on a fort, probably. Then we see a combo where uh, a spear has been combined with a mushroom. So we see Fuse there, and then we see him attack. We see him use a new wind instrument to move uh, a boat. We see a spin attack. So we're seeing quite a bit here in this footage. And then we see Link sort of, you know, teetering with his... Uh, with his little controls, uh, showing that you can sort of control the movement if you have the right pieces of your flying machine. So I find that to be pretty, pretty cool looking. And then we see him fighting one of those moblins uh, just out in the... Well, it looks like right in front of the Dueling Peaks out in the central Hyrule area, most likely. Also, uh, something to notice in the background of this one in particular is we actually see some supplies on one of those platforms. You take a look. You could see, we've been speculating, you know, do we get to rebuild things? What's going on? Now we see one of those platforms that has a sign in front that I really want to read the sign because I want to know what's going on. I feel like it's some sort of Hyrule construction project. But we're seeing supplies there, and I wonder if in this playthrough, uh, the person playing has supplied some wood or something uh, for construction purposes there. Very curious. I'll see something off in the distance, some sort of building, but it's a little, uh, you know, a, a little too blurry to make out quite exactly what that is. And then we see him fighting a choo-choo, uh, looking pretty good here. Got just a basic sword there. We see him fire an arrow. Uh, this arrow appears to be out towards, you know, this is either Terrytown or Hateno Village. I'm not exactly 100% uh, sure. I'd have to go back in Breath of the Wild and revisit to see this exact location. And then uh, we see him using that dang arm, two-handed spear cannon thing again. This time against a, uh, a stone talus, but this one doesn't appear to be as in a KB. We can see some sunlight coming in, uh, but there is some overhead uh, rock structure going on. And if we pause it at just the right frame, you can get a really intricate look at Link's weapon here. If you look at this weapon, you'll see the spear or whatever this is attached to this uh, dragon cannon. And you can see the dragon face, very zoni like You can see a yellow ring followed by a green ring on the bottom. I'm not sure if this signifies some sort of power or whatever. And this seems to be the new bomb ability or something or some sort of new bomb weapon because we haven't seen Link actually use bombs yet. So he's shooting it out there uh, with this blue flame. Uh, pretty cool looking. Does a big explosion just like a bomb would except maybe even a bit bigger than a bomb explosion. Definitely different looking at least. And then we see Link just shooting an arrow off a tree. 
Why would he be shooting a shooting or oh, shooting an arrow, shooting an apple off a tree? Why would he be shooting an apple off a tree? Maybe he just wants to gather the apple, or maybe possibly this is another Korok seed-like quest. Remember, we had to do uh, some of those where you'd shoot uh, apples off trees. Sometimes uh, we see him use a spin attack to start a fire. Don't know why he's using a spin attack with his uh, stick or whatever on fire to start a fire. You don't need to do that, but whatever. <laughs> he chose to be fancy about starting fires. Then we see him with a giant hammer. Uh, and this hammer is, if you pause, again, I know it's blurry, guys. It's it's in motion footage, so it's really hard to get good frames. We see him using a hammer where it actually looks like it's a bat fused to a rock. Uh, and he's hitting some luminous stone here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, getting some luminous stone. Uh, so that's still going to be very much a thing. Uh, anyways, yeah, that that's kind of what I saw in the footage. You know, you can go back through and probably spot maybe a few other things. I'm very curious if you guys spot anything new in the footage. Uh, because I certainly am trying to spot new stuff in every piece of footage we get. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. Uh, I am working on gathering some other Tears of the Kingdom stuff uh, as well for maybe another video today, but got a bit of a late start today. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling the, the, the greatest. For those who are unaware, I've been battling a long, long cold. Uh, sometimes people get like these month-long colds, at least they do up where I live, up north, and I happen to have one of those. So I haven't really complained about it until today. Today is the first day it really hit me, and I just couldn't get out of bed. Massive headache, but uh, we're doing better now. We're, we're, we're pushing through, and uh, we got more content coming your way, guys, because Tears of the Kingdom, baby, it is so close. As of today, three weeks away, everyone! Can you believe we're three weeks away? So in celebration of being three weeks away, like literally three Fridays from now, folks, we're playing this game. I want you to go down in the comments below and tell me the number one thing you're most excited to do in Tears of the Kingdom. That's what I would love for you to put down in the comments because I want to know what you're most excited about doing. Uh, we'll have in the next video a new thing for you to maybe go down in the comments and tell me what you want to do in Tears of the Kingdom or whatever we're talking about at the time. I don't even know. Maybe there's other Nintendo news going on because remember today Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp came out and we can't be forgetting about our little Advance War buddies uh, the absolutely fantastic franchise. I would love to see a new one. Not as excited for this as I would be a new one, but still, hey, it's a, it, it's out today. It is technically the release of the day, and yet we're talking about Tears of the Kingdom again. It's almost as if uh, this is what matters. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.